Oh, you know, I like spoiling you all. So let's have a little session on half part. We've got 70 credits there. We've got a couple of pound coins to throw in. Let's see how we can do. Three big gambles are lost. That carried on flashing out after that, so cheers.
I'm gonna lose every time. <laughs> oh, you cruel gamble. Pound fifty in the money pot. Three pound and straight to sixty p. I think we're winning now, aren't we? What do we have? Seventy goes plus four quid. So that's eleven quid I put in. So three quid up, three thirty. Despite all my uh, gambles, I lost. Thank you. 
PS machines, it was tight on the gamble. Found the tokens and I've got 20 feedback so far. Mm. Will you give me a skill stop then?
back and C, number 10. Oh, come on. Unbelievable gambles on that. Unbelievable. Chance to be a fine thing. A pub machine, this one, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, like, like some of the um, earlier JPMs, like System 80s, they were they weren't very uh, jackpot happy. So you put them in pubs, and no one wins tokens out of it, or hardly ever wins tokens out of it. So that's why they were ideal for pubs. Because remember, uh, seeing machines like this and dropped a lot and all of them in pubs, you know. Um, but I never ever saw a real crazy in a pub. Just uh, I've seen these and some system eighties like True Chaser and that and Frog Frog Hop and the likes of them. But yeah, it's because they don't like paying tokens out, so they're probably the best machines for pubs to own. Because otherwise, people are just going to win tokens and buy air with them. So well, that's what we used to do back in the day, anyway. So there's Hot Pot Deluxe session on that and um, I think um, what did we get uh, 11 quid in and we got 11.90 out so 90p profit but we had 15 what nearly 20 minutes play so not too bad to be fair so there you go hope you enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you next time on Chris 217 channel with some more spins on the 80s fruit machines see you later